and welcome to Dark Angel Beauty. So today we are doing something really cool and I wanted to do like a quick get ready with me. Um, so the Renaissance Festival is in Charlotte for two months every year. They actually have like a permanent setup. It stays um, up year round, but they just have the fair for two years during the fall. And we talked about going, it's opening weekend. Right now they have a coupon and for the first weekend. It's $26 admission price. Um, it includes all the shows and everything. Food's relatively inexpensive. There's a lot to do there. And it's like a full day's worth of activities, but it's not, I don't think it's like a too costly of an event to do. Um, however, this weekend they are doing buy one ticket, get one free as long as you have a coupon and we got one in the mail. So we were like, all right, let's do it now. So we're going to go check it out today. Um, I don't like doing anything where you can dress up without dressing up. So uh, last minute I had to assemble a costume and I think I did a pretty decent job doing it. Um, I did look up like some Renaissance medieval style makeup ideas for like the look that they would have had back then. I'm not really what you would call dressed as like nobility or royalty or even the upper class. I'm more of like a surf girl who like the Lord's wife somewhat likes her and is like, here's a hand-me-down and that's like how I got this fancy hat. But the rest of me is pretty like rustic. Without any more ramblings, we're gonna jump into the tutorial. It should be a relatively quick one because it is not going to be super complex. I did do a pretty good amount of skincare on myself this morning and last night trying to get my skin ready to have like a more natural look. And I also went ahead and did my base primer. I just did like a very neutral, not colored one at all because probably working on the fields, if I were going with this idea of like, I'm an indentured servant or a serf, then um, I probably would be a little tanner. But overall, the women were paler. Um, the upper class was a lot more pale because the idea was like, if you could stay inside, then you were rich. So like, why would you not stay inside? I stay inside all the time. But I am going to go for a more pale feature today. I picked like my lightest shade of concealer and foundation. Yeah, they also liked really rosy cheeks, so I'm going to do that. I've got my uh, Urban Decay Vice uh, lip palette to do some nice uh, cheek with a lip color because I think that always helps make it look a little bit redder. Uh, but I am going to start with just doing a little bit of concealer on my under eyes and letting that sit while I work on my brows. The brows I'm going to go with a more natural look than I typically do. I'll do like a little bit more defined than what obviously would have been done back then since they didn't have like the Instagram eyebrow back then. I do want to make it a little bit more natural than what I normally do which is like a full on brow. Alright, so we'll let that set and while we're doing that, go ahead and pull out my hand dandy eyebrow stuff. So I haven't been to the Renaissance Festival. I'm pretty, I was trying to think about it. I don't think I've been to the Renaissance Festival since I was like a small child. Like I know my parents took me one year for like a nighttime event or something that they did special. But I can't remember what age I was. Like I genuinely can't remember what age I was. I was thinking it was like maybe third or fourth grade. But it was young enough that I don't really remember anything. I've never been. You've never been? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. This would be my first time. That's so exciting. Well, my mom always wanted to go, but my dad was like, mm, or we could not. <laughs> or we could do anything else. <laughs> Did you see my, my text last night about the cheese themed yes. theme park in South, in, Korea? In South Korea? I yeah. want to go. That they went to? Yes. Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't actually get to watch that one. I haven't watched it yet either because it was like at that point it was like two in the morning and I was like I really have to go to bed but I was very intrigued and I was like I want to go to a cheese theme park. So on a scale of like one to gonna die of the plague how authentic do you think this is gonna be today? Well I mean you're wearing makeup in general. I think that, that in itself is not. You're right I should be like crushing berries. Yeah. And like rubbing like elderflower on my face. You're right. Back in the day they would like put a base of foundation on that was like powder and then they would put on like super red lipstick that was like berries super red lipstick and super red cheeks yeah and i think that was like what the nobility would do you know what they would use a lot of times for foundation no uh, because they were so pale or they wanted to be so white they would use like bird poop yeah yeah, but the things you do for beauty, like seriously, like forever, the things people have done for beauty, it's just very um, interesting. Red wine bath that they did in Japan. Um, I bought that red wine shampoo and conditioner, the one that broke open and like I, I lost half the bottle. Yeah. Well, I used the other half of the bottle and honestly, that is like some of the best shampoo 
and stuff that I've ever used. It just, it was not super expensive, but it just makes my hair feel like so healthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do say like a glass of wine a day helps keep you healthy. My brows look almost like normal, so that didn't work, but like, I can't help it. So brows are done. There's the same brows that I always do. I couldn't control myself, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna go in with a second concealer that's also pretty light. It's my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm just gonna do like a little bit in areas that I would like a little bit more full coverage. I did my hair first because I knew it was gonna take longer. And because of that, like, I was like, my bangs in the way and I can't do anything about them. I just have to like keep pushing them out. So there's definitely like a lot of concealer in my bangs currently. I use for foundation today, I use the, uh, the NYX Total Control Drops, which I've shown before. And I did that because that's literally the lightest shade I have. So I was like, well, we're just gonna straight do that. And I've also got this, like OG airspun thing that is no lie, like no exaggeration it is from like 2007. And I got it in like the clearance bin at CVS. Like the airspun packaging does not look like this anymore. Anybody who buys airspun currently knows that it hasn't looked like this in like 15 years, but like I don't use it very often because it is so light. I'm just kind of like meh, but I figured today would be a good time to go ahead and use it. What is, I would like to know, excuse me, what, what time period are we in currently? You can't give me like an in-between, I need to know a year. The, re the renaissance. Yeah, well yeah, I know when the renaissance would be like, I need a date. Like, what is, what is it? 1520. Isn't everybody dead from the plague at that point? Yeah, it's, it's right after the plague. So everybody's dead from the plague? Yeah. Everyone that's at the festival is the only survivors. Everyone else is dead. So this is like a post-apocalyptic renaissance? Yeah. It's a very interesting time. It Everyone really is. died from the plague and they were just like, oh, what now? Oh, let's just, let's just do what the Italians do. The beginning of the witch trials essentially started mm -hmm. just slightly before that. But like by the time uh, Malleus Maleficarum came out, it was because of the plague. I would, I would say that the, the plague played a big influence in like the idea oh, of the yeah. witch hunt. Because they were looking for something to blame it on. Mm -hmm. It was just this mass hysteria. And that's why it's so interesting when you study the witch trials, because that was in... My history, my final dissertation for my last senior seminar, I did a DIS with one of my favorite professors, and um, I studied the witch trials in America because I'd written one on the witch trials in England. And when you look at like when the witch trials started in England, and then how they progressed, like all or not England, they, how they started in Europe because they started in Germany, but how they jumped all over the European continent and then finally made their way over to the American uh, colonies, it's kind of like. It's kind of sad how long it went on. Like it was a good like 300 years that those were a big part of at least some culture in the world. I think that's why I like history so much because there's just so much of it you're going like, wow, this is crazy. People really thought. This is crazy. And then someday, culture. but someday people are gonna look at our society and be like, wow, people really thought the iPhone was like high tech. What the f? Sure. Yeah, I'm sure they'll look back and think that there's tons of things that current society does that is stupid. Yeah. Which I mean, they're right. Yeah very true that are just very backwards and but you know what we gave them vine so yeah you're, you're welcome, welcome generations of future we're out here making ways <laughs> all right i think i look sufficiently pale the air spun from the, like 2007 did pretty good like that's pretty i don't know why i don't use this more it was a good job air spun they didn't really do contour but i'm gonna do just like a slight definition just because my face is so round i think i'm changing my contour brush again I think I'm gonna use this as my contour brush now. It's a lot more natural. I think the, the 360 one's really good if I'm trying to do like a harsh contour, but I like more of like subtle. I think this is a better route to go. All right, so my my Urban Decay Vice lip palette is like janky, um, but that's because mainly what I've used it for is this kind of stuff. I don't really use it for like lip colors. I'm going in hot with this. We're gonna hope we can blend it out. You know, I also noticed a trend when I was looking up like makeup and stuff and like uh, a lot of paintings and classical things will show. They had, I, I don't know how they did it. I don't because I know how they made the white foundation and it's concerning to me. But um, they would do like white mascara. Huh. Yeah, yeah, right? I was like, how, how what did you, how, what? Like this looks pretty actually like decent for the time period. However, there's just like a couple fingerprints and I'm gonna hope I can like cover it with powder. 
because otherwise I'm just gonna have some fingerprints on my face the whole day, which like, you know, it's a choice. Might be able to turn those little spots into like freckles. Maybe, but that's not really the aesthetic. Like they didn't do that. Not that I'm 100% historically accurate here. <laughs> we're, we're out here. We're out here. <laughs> I'm forging. I'm forging the way for history. I'm trying to preserve everything that's good in the world. If anything, that is probably how they looked back then. Janky. Yeah, well, I guess... not janky, but you know, they didn't have brushes. They were probably hand. <laughs> they hand they looked like they had a seizure while they were. <laughs> not too far from true. They all died of strokes. No, they all died from the plague. We just talked about that. Yeah, that too. You know, I think it would be really cool to do like a makeup throughout history series too. Yeah, that would be pretty fun. I'm gonna have to remember because we're not gonna have time before I leave. I'm gonna have to remember to wash that that beauty blender really well because otherwise I'm gonna be doing my foundation and it's gonna be like, ah, why am I pink? <laughs> all right, and because we are going to the Renaissance Fair, of course I had to use modern Renaissance for my look today, so. We're just gonna do a very little bit of it because they're really like everything I saw was kind of like more focused on the cheeks and the lips. So we're just gonna do like a nice neutral little eye. All right, just gonna do some nice like all over. All right, going right along with historical accuracy, we're gonna also add some highlighter. Cause you know, I can't go without my shimmer. I mean, there's a lot of stuff there I wanna try. Like don't they have like meat pies and stuff like that? I think so. Yeah, that's like. Mm. I will say that before we eat, we should probably walk around all the places to eat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then decide which place we eat first, and then second, and then third, and fourth. We're going to be there from like 10 to 5, and it's going to be spent eating the whole time. Yeah, pretty much. And then I'm going to throw a knife. <laughs> so if, if I die, that's... It's because my aim was bad. <laughs> <laughs> or it was Or it was good. really good. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> you might be John... John Wick with throwing knives, so. I've uh, killed many people with horses, so. <laughs> and a couple with a pencil, so. <laughs> and one guy with a book. Those are not my normal, like, not, I don't dislike those kind of movies normally, I just don't normally care about them, and I really genuinely, like, I look forward to, like, the next release. I think they should have ended it with this one. I think it should have been a trilogy, not a whatever four movies is. You know what? As long as Keanu's willing to, like, gift the world with Keanu-ness, then, like, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to say I don't want it. Because right, I do. Because I, mean, I they, do. None of them have disappointed. No. That's the impressive part about it. All right. I think we're done. I think this is it. I think it's been done. So... It is what it is. All right. Okay, guys. Thanks for bearing with us. This was a very different um, style for us. It was, like... I've been wanting to do, like, a get ready with me type thing because I really enjoy watching people do it. Um, it's hard when most of what my content is at the moment is, like, first impressions and stuff where I need to talk about the makeup products. Here, I just kind of gave you guys an idea of what I was using. Not even fully. Some of the stuff I didn't even really talk about. But I used... Like, I gave you guys an idea about the main stuff that I used. And then I uh, just kind of got ready and... Uh, we're going to film while we're at the Renaissance Festival. We're going to eat a lot of food. We're going to drink one beer a piece because apparently that's what we're limited to. I guess that's understandable considering um, we are going to be throwing knives at some point today. So it's probably for the best that we're not like wasted. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We've got a lot of really fun stuff coming up for you, including our 100 subscriber giveaway. We hit 90 subscribers last night as we were filming this. I don't know where we'll be at when this finally posts, but I'm really excited. I I just cannot wait to be able to give that to you guys and to continue to grow with um, you for you to grow with us. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in today. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.